Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So today is a great day. A new Android version is born today. We have the first Android 15 builds out for Pixel smartphones. And now in this video, we'll find out what Android 15 brings on the table for Pixel smartphones. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my Pixel 7a, which I've already updated to the latest build of Android 15, which is the first developer preview. If I show you the software information, under Android version, you can see this time the code name of Android 15 is Vanilla Ice Cream. We don't get to see any version under Android version, but it's Android 15. Let me show you the new Easter egg of Android 15. So this will be the new Easter egg of Android 15. You can see the build number, which is AP31.240.119.016. And guys, if you wish to install, right now you only have one option to install that is manual installation you can find the guide on the internet how to install android 15 manually on your device but i don't recommend anyone to install it because it's the first developer preview and it might have some major bugs so avoid flashing it on your primary phone and now before moving ahead if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel as said this build might have some bugs so first bug which i noticed was layer 2 play store itself so soon after after I installed, you can see if I go and check the updates for the application, it doesn't show any update. But there are updates available. For example, let me show you if I tap on search and tap on YouTube, you can see it do shows update available. It's not showing automatically, so you have to manually install it. I installed this build one hour before and till now the app store isn't updating the apps or it's not showing me the list of apps which requires update. Right now with Android 15, you won't see much of changes. In future, we might get to see more add-ons and changes in the UI with the upcoming developer previews or beta builds in future. And most of the changes which we are going to talk about were already available on the QPR builds. So first change which I noticed and it's layered to the animation effect between the lock screen and the home screen. But for that, you need to have two different wallpapers which I've set here right now on my Pixel 7a. Let me unlock the device and show you guys that effect. You'll have that nice blurry effect when the wallpaper is getting changed while unlocking the device as you can see and it looks pretty good there's nothing changed under wallpapers and style section the ui remains same i'll do in-depth testing of this build and we'll see if we have any new add-ons or not under the clock styles also i don't see any new add-ons but a great add-on done on android 15 is this partial screen recording option and which other oems should also add so if you tap on screen recording you can see now you have two options one is a single app or the entire screen. So this recorder lets you screen record of any particular app which you want. So if I select a single app and tap on start recording, here you'll see all the recent page and towards the bottom side, you have the list of applications which you can record. For example, if I tap on Chrome, the recording will start. It's a very good add-on done by Google. And you guys let me know whether other OEMs should also add such things or not. And great thanks to Michal Rahman who already covered these changes on Twitter. But one change which I am not able to find it out, as per Michal, the brightness slider now have the haptic feedback. On Pixel 7a, I wasn't able to discover it. There's no haptic feedback right now. It might be a bug or I'm not sure whether the haptic feedback for the brightness slider is meant for higher end phones instead of 7a. But if anyone of you have Pixel 7a, do let me know whether haptic feedback for the brightness slider works or not. And another great add on what Google have done and that's layer to the Bluetooth tile. So if you have multiple devices paired with your device without going to the Bluetooth setting, you can directly switch to the different Bluetooth which you have paired. Then under the settings, there's a new option called notification cooldown. So if you go to settings page under notification, scroll down, you can see a new tab called notification cooldown. So this feature will gradually decrease the volume of the series of notification coming from the same app. And it can be really useful because most of the time it's very annoying. Like you get back to back notifications from a single app and that time this feature can come in handy. It will automatically reduce the sound of those notifications. Under vibration and settings, now by default, you have this keyboard vibration toggle turned on. As said, these features were already available on QPR beta. So you don't get to see much of new add-ons with Android 15. So guys, these are only new add-ons. What you'll find it on Android 15 right now. I'm still testing this build. If I find more changes, I'll keep you guys posted with a different video. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.